definitely chose the right time of year to visit home. The surf's been a lot of fun these last few days. It's been really awesome. But today is probably the last really good day that we're gonna get. And especially for me, because I'm gonna be hitting the road pretty soon and I'm gonna be driving inland away from the coast on my way down to New Orleans more than likely. So I'm probably not gonna get to surf good conditions like this for a long time. There was once a time when I was first learning how to surf when there really wouldn't be too many people out here at all. You'd be out in the water and there might be 10 guys on it with you at the most. But nowadays times have definitely changed. There are tons of people here from all over the East Coast, New Jersey, Florida, New Hampshire, Maine, everywhere. They're all coming over here for this swell. And it seems that the secret of this area has kind of gotten out a little bit. It doesn't really bother me too much though. I'm pretty used to the crazy crowds having spent so much time in California the past two summers. This has got to be one of the best days that I've ever seen at this particular break. There's like people lined up up and down the beach with cameras out taking pictures, locals and folks that are here from out of town to surf. It is really incredible. It was a lot of fun. But I'm really, really tired and I'm definitely ready to start making my way back. It's like 4 o'clock now and I haven't had lunch yet. All I've had is a couple of power bars and some water all day. So I'm hungry, I'm exhausted and then on top of that, all my camera batteries are dying. I managed to leave my charger at my parents' house. so I can't even recharge any of them. I was thinking about trying to fly the drone, but there's this really strong offshore wind, so I think it would probably take it out to sea and it might have a hard time coming back. I might. And it's gone. Decided to come back down this morning and try to get some leftovers, but it is almost completely flat. It's crazy how overnight it went from as big as it was yesterday to absolutely nothing. I'll find a wave somewhere and get to paddle out for an hour or so. It'll still be fun, and at least I'll get to fly the drone. The wind's a lot lighter today. There's still a couple fun ones out there. It's definitely fading pretty fast though. I'm just happy I got the chance to get in the water one last time. I'm not sure when the next chance I'm gonna get to surf is. It's probably not gonna be for another month at least. So after surfing this morning, I ended up meeting up with one of my good friends and one of his friends, and we're now playing disc golf. This is the first time I've ever done this before, so it's definitely been pretty interesting. So this is Greg. He's actually been one of my childhood friends from, I don't know, when did we, when did we first become friends? I think we were like kindergarten or something like Five that. Five years old, probably. Yeah, so we've been friends for a really long time. And it's been pretty awesome getting the chance to hang out with him. Yeah. Playing some disc golf. I'm not very good, but I did just make a bogey on the last hole, so that was cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, I'm not very good at disc golf. But it was fun getting the chance to give it a try, getting the chance to hang out with Greg. He kicked my butt, taught me a few things, so I'll have to try it another time in the future, but my arm's pretty sore and it's a lot harder than it looks. I think I could see myself getting into disc golf though at some point in the future. I really enjoyed how we were outside walking on all these trails. It was pretty much like a combination of playing a sport and hiking at the same time. I really enjoyed being in the woods. We saw a deer like up close and personal. It was pretty awesome. And then on top of that, it also seems like a cheaper alternative to traditional golf. It was also really awesome getting the chance to see Greg. I hadn't seen him in a few years. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for taking the time to teach me how to play, Greg. Greg is also one of the original Patreon supporters of Element Van Life, so I can't thank him enough for support of the channel. Before ending the vlog today, I do have one new thank you to give to one new Patreon pledge. Chris Warren, thanks so much for joining the Patreon team. I'm planning to hit the road later today, guys. I'll talk to y'all in the next video.